What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Homie Biz. We're going to start off with the White Wolf, Stephen Babcock, hitting a drop foot on a, on a flat rail? Word? I thought it was an NBD, and I was all hyped to say that, but yeah, Don Layfield laced one in the meantime, so it is what it is. My groin hurts from watching that, though. <laughs> We're talking blading here every single week. So if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing or following. It'd be tight if you gave a like and shared this with your homies. Actually, you know what? Don't share it with them. They don't want to see this. Reverse psychiatry. We're going to start this off with products. I'm sorry. I'm just outrageous sometimes. Impala's got that new new drop in. And I say new twice because they're dropping two. And they're both heat. One is desert themed, so, you know. You feel me? You feel me? They're dropping the Sahara and the Black Lives. I mean, just black. Sorry, everybody that thinks I get too political on this show. These things are insanely dope and coming soon. No word on the exact date, but when I know, you know I'm gonna let you know. It's really dope that Impala is staying in the Blade game, and I really hope it gets more women rollerblading. And that's it. We've been lacking on products, really, but you know, one product is better than no products. You feel me? Let's do some wheels and deals. I know you love it. So Dead Wheels picked up Don Bruce, which is real smart, okay? He's got a lot of name recognition right now. Mesmer Pro, Andy misses him. He was talking to Ego about his would've been pro Colt skate. Pretty easy to say now that he's not on Razors, huh? Fifth Floor is a masterpiece that the homies are honestly still talking about today. It's just all around a perfect time for Dead to pick him up. Dead might be the best wheel company we have right now. And with Dom on the roster, it's just gonna skyrocket, man. Rollerblade picked up Franck Steve, the fantastic Frenchman who's been killing it forever and is responsible for this photo. Honestly, man, who are you texting there? Were you texting, changing the song, putting in a DoorDash order? Did you need a slice of pizza by the time you finished the rail? Actually, he's French. A croissant? He's seriously a dope addition to the team. Super swaggy. He's had clips on this show before. You definitely want to follow this journey. Congrats to Frank and Rollerblade for that. Last but not least, Nicoli is pro, not for a boot, but I'm sure that's coming next. Nicoli is pro for the Inui brand. You know that protective gear that has hella people riding for it. She joins names like Nick Lomax, Farmer, CJ Wellsmore, Mary Munoz, and more. That's really like a superhero team, like the Avengers. They have Eugen. Really hyped for her getting that spot. She only deserves the best and honestly so much more. I cannot wait to see her pro boot. I don't care what brand it comes out for, I'm copping. All right, them's the wheels and the deals. A trade, an addition, and a pro spot. You know this is your favorite part of the show. Let's get into these videos. Okay, real shit. How many of us have had that dream about skating on those televised talent searches? None of you? For real? It's just me? Well, Diaco is on America's Got Talent, and that was just a lame attempt for me to try to connect with y'all as an intro to his video. But yes, Diaco skated for Simon Cowell, Nikki Bella, and Travis Pastrana, who better know what's up with rollerblading seeing that our Chuck Norris, Chris Haffey, is skating on Nitro Circus and fucking killing it. But I digress. I was wondering why Diaco was in Cali, but now I see that he's hitting flat nines in front of judges. He hit that very easily, by the way. Just putting that out there. He put it down on ramps that were built for him to perform on the show, which is wild to me because rollerblading doesn't have shit like that on that kind of scale. He even got voted onto the next round, which is also really amazing. Look, I don't follow the show, so I have no idea what happens past the initial audition, but moving on has to be a big deal, right? Make sure you check this out. Diaco's putting blading on the map in a major way. For all the seasoned rollerbladers that are watching this, try to look past the random slow-mos they throw in there. They're just trying to make it more epic. We've all seen Diaco backflip. Victor, God damn, has an amazing part out for Razor skating in Latin America. I feel like I've been talking about Latin America a lot lately. I watched this like four times before writing this story. You can at least give it two. Front unity to Aliyup Acid was amazing. I feel like it's a trick we need to start seeing more. Make sure you pee.
Sasha Sims has a profile out for Blade Runners that you should probably check out. I needed some Sims in the streets and I'm glad that I finally got it. First off, shout out to the homie with the handheld GoPro angle that looks like he's never seen skating in his life. He was so hyped and I feel like we all need this kind of hype man in our sessions. I can't even remember what trick Sasha did because this image now haunts my brain. But for the rest of the skating, it's really good. Make sure you check it out. It's about a minute of like actual skating, but it's still good. Richie, the Eisler, blessed our eyeballs with a park edit to promote his new undercover wheels. Couple of things to unpack here. One, Richie has had a lot of wheels. One and a half, I didn't know it was that many wheels. Two, Richie makes the complicated look easy and obtainable sometimes. I don't think he's ever not been good. And three, this park looks amazing. Where do I need to buy a plane ticket to? I wanna go there so bad. I want to go to there. Anyways, make sure you check this out and pick up a set of wheels if you still can. Actually, let me, let me make a call real quick. Hey, I'm Matt Mickey. It's your boy. Question, do you do deliveries? All right, that's gonna do it for the videos that you need to check out this week. Let's, uh, let's get social in a special way. Oh, uh, my turn, it's my turn now. No intro or nothing, that's just it, we're going straight in. Okay, well, give me a second to get my shit together. Here's 30 seconds of Matt Ledeau doing some tricks, jumping out at us like a lion in the Sahara. Hey y'all, I'm Maybe Skates, a new part of the TWIB team as a correspondent and resident hot girl. I'm also here to be a bridge between the cool people in blading and the cool people in quad skating. If the idea of this happy union still makes you uncomfortable, first of all, grow up. Secondly, look to skaters like Montre Livingston. He posted a reel this week saying that he'd been off quads for a while, but damn it, if that dude wasn't born with wheels on his feet. The frontside 360s to grinds on both sides that's impressive. And I don't even want to talk about the 540s. <laughs> Did you see at the end where the tiny ledge almost took him out though? You really got to watch out for those little guys. <laughs> he did almost die he on this. That was so close. Yeah, that was the whole thing His body was so contorted. I'm a little biased on this next drill for two reasons. One, because Aubrey is a friend of mine. And two, because all these clips are at my favorite skate park. But even if you don't know her, you're gonna like these clips. Aubrey obviously has some influence from blading in her repertoire. The 50-50 walk to sweat stance and the 360s in and out of and off of things are just too clean. I'm really hoping Aubrey brings these tricks to the Spring Cup at the end of April. But in the advanced section, Aubrey, please give us an intermediate, a fighting chance. I dare you to try and not smile when watching this reel from Amber Smiles. Shuffling on a beautiful beach, wearing a tie-dye bikini, sunshine yellow bucket hat, this girl is living her best life. I also really love seeing the bail clips interspersed with the successful hits. It shows all the work that goes into these tricks and the people love that. Okay, this next edit from Katie Baird gets me hype. She's hitting rad tricks and they're super tricky, especially on narrow trucks. The music in the background is sick too. For copyright purposes, we can't play it here. But it's gonna be in the description, right Biz? Right, it's gonna be there? Yeah. Finally, Jeremy Soderberg. Soderberg. What? Backside grinds up the stairs for a quick hello and then fast slides right back down again. That's the germ special right there. Is he like a pro or something? Okay, thanks for letting me take over, Biz. Back to you. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, everything that I talked about in this video and everything maybe talked about is gonna be linked in the description of this video. So, if you wanna see more, 
visit the description. You know I'm gonna give a shout out to my TWIP correspondents. Travis Stewart, Bell Davis, Revolution Ski and Blade, Brian Kranz, I Roll NY, and Maybe Skates. Huge shout out to Maybe Skates for helping me out this episode. I really hope you guys like that segment because shit like that's gonna be happening more often. Make sure you follow Maybe Socials right here. Okay, we're gonna link everything there. You can keep up. If you wanna be a part of my Patreon and help keep these lights on, there's gonna be a link to that in the description. For as little as $3 a month, you can help a brother out and I truly appreciate it. I don't know if I say that enough, but I fucking do. Also, make sure you're following my link tree to get all the TWIB updates, skating, and a bunch of other crap. You never know what's gonna happen and if you're out of the loop, you're not in the loop and you're gonna miss shit. For this week's Ender, here's Rob going the distance. Just so far.